Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. When it comes to the trader that I'm going to talk about today, I just want to tell you guys. I told you so. Today we're going to be talking about Ndamus that's now busy scamming children. You are so dumb. FBI, open up! So, like I told you guys before, Ndamus is nothing special. Ndamus had the lifestyle of the people that he is busy exposing today. So, he's envious of people like John Cutty. He's envious of people like DJ Coach. So, what he does is he gets close to them and then he exposes them. Plainly out of jealousy. He doesn't even have evidence for the things that he is talking. Now, besides that... I brought forth to you guys that Ndamus is also scamming through his foam bath and some of you guys actually found that really funny because how can someone be scamming through foam bath? It's easy. You make an online order and I just never fulfill your order. I take your money though. Now, he's been going on about me, I don't care. The only things that Ndamus can only ever say about me is when he talks about this lips, but Kanti doesn't get attention when he doesn't talk about it. And then he also talks about the fact that I'm broke. But I don't really care. I'd rather be broke me than be fake rich Ndamus. But let's get into today's video so that I can show you guys how this embarrassment, this disgrace of a human being is busy scamming children stop it get some help this guy that Ndamus that I'm gonna talk about today that Ndamus scam this is still a student this is a teenager and I just want Ndamus to know that he's a big piece of cuck for scamming a child funny enough like I keep on telling you guys whatever these traders spew at me that is normally their reality so Ndamus is constantly calling me broke and I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video that Ndamus is actually broke now this is a really recent case you guys will see by the dates but when you go into the first piece of evidence that i want to talk about right you will see that this guy sends ndamus a screenshot and he says look what's worse is that i opened one position now for one position to blow about 73 dollars it had to be a cuck signal. Let's be real. Let's not act like you haven't seen someone make a large amount of money with a small lot size before. Now, for me, normally, seeing that Ndamus is this big millionaire that lives a very flamboyant lifestyle, that has this gold, uh, um, or is it yellow BMW? doesn't really matter because it isn't his anyway you'd actually think that he would maybe help this guy out because at the end of the day this is my just okay let me not say this is my just because going on in the video you guys will actually see how tragic this thing is but going further you will see Ndamus replying here with morning and then um this brat tells him look man Ndamus says what happened and then this guy says i don't know i did everything you told me to do i've lost everything i have i'm sorry to say it with a laughing smile but this like the reason why i'm smiling and laughing is because ndamus is one of the people in this industry that constantly will tell you i'm the best i'm the best but look at the shit that only one signal of his does i will send you to jesus now apart from that ndamus's reply is a very shallow and disingenuous but i was not aware serious now you should be aware because this guy did everything that you told him to do. And before you guys think I'm lying, let me just show you um, a screenshot of the 1000 Rand that this guy sent Ndamus for... Uh, um, for signals. And then also, what happened further than that is... No, the account after that, no, after it blew for the one signal, no, it blew again after that because that guy deposited again money into his account. But the gag is, no, 
the gag is after paying 1000 rand for signals and blowing two accounts on it Damus then convinces this guy to send him 725 rand so that Damus can manage this guy's account how disingenuous is that and here you guys can see by the bank proof that 725 rand 725 rand it was sent to this guy till today nothing has come of it and the gag is that like i told you guys whenever someone comes to you and he's promising you big returns in a short space of time like in Damus have promised this guy it's most definitely a scam in seven days nogal Damus told this guy and to me that is the funniest part because how are you gonna grow 725 rand in seven days to the point that you can still take something for your account management because let's not play about it this isn't damus he's very greedy and still give a profit more than what this guy gave you something just something just isn't making sense here now like i told you guys this is a student this money that the student lost was supposed to go for transport for school transport and then for lunch money for three months do you guys see how important it is to just listen whenever i drop a video this is a recent case i have warned you guys about ndamus when already but you guys always take it as a joke and when i say you guys no i don't mean the subscribers of this channel because the subscribers of this channel will agree with what i'm saying here they would understand where i'm coming from when it comes to ndamus and i'm not even i'm not even being mean or anything to ndamus like he has been mean to me at the end of the day this is a child that ndamus scammed do you guys see why i come here and do this and then a whole lot of people will come to tell me especially you guys the haters you guys will tell me oh, oh, oh you're just hating you're just hating but look here's the evidence i don't understand how you guys can still cover up for scams like this and do you know what's the funny part eh? when it comes to this child wanting to hold Ndamus accountable you can see uh, that he tried phoning Ndamus many times many times on the first of march only i'm counting three four thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen that is just on the first of march on the day before the first of march there's a there's four must four times he called them nine times he called them and then um that is 13 14 15 16 calls again which i can count on because obviously it goes more on than that because this guy says that ntamus has been blocking him and he's not answering his calls now do you guys once again understand why i come and do this and then you guys still have the energy to come and shit on me when i do this no go and shit on ndamus because at the end of the day right this is a black child that ndamus is scamming here this child is not gonna wanna fuck with forex based on his experience that he had with ndamus I'm just here and I hope that this video will warn other children like him that falls for scams by the Damuses of this world. I accept the hate that comes. I accept the criticism that comes. At the end of the day, I'm still gonna come and do this because it's not about clout if this boy knew that he should not mess with ndamus he would have either not gone into forex entirely or he would have gotten someone that he would have been more re reputable do you understand what i'm saying so at the end of the day i would like for you guys to think twice 
before you come and shout these things at me when I expose these people for what they do. And it's all for the purpose of a fake lifestyle. Now, I've told you guys that Ndamus doesn't have any money in his account and that him calling other people broke is usually him projecting his current reality onto other people. Well, let me just show you guys that he really is broke. We know that this guy is stupid enough to go and make his bank account mr president or whatever that is but at the end of the day as you guys can see savings account available balance zero rand don't call other people broke my bro don't because unfortunately for you that is the reality that you live in so next time in demos when you want to call people broke please make sure that you at least have a little small something in your account otherwise you have no grounds to call other people broke you have no legs to stand on when it comes to talking and calling other people broke hell like i said before your girlfriend's ponytail is bigger than your head so nothing that you said or say should be taken seriously guys if he can run off with people's 200 rand for phone birth this man is capable of everything and anything ladies next time when you're alone with Ndamus please hide your expensive underwear because that man will even sell that to make a living please do uh, share this around so that people can know about Ndamus <laughs> that is a slecht slecht slechte trader a bad trader and then last but not least if you're new here please do smash the subscribe button this is where we come to expose scams every day i'll see you guys in the next one cheers